Rob? Hello everyone, welcome to Rob's Rogues and the BatmanUniverse.net. And today we're taking a look at Batman Arkham Knight from DC Collectibles, Commissioner Gordon. Forever, everybody has been saying, when are we going to get a Commissioner Gordon figure? When are we going to get a Commissioner Gordon figure? This year, we've received two Commissioner Gordon figures. Uh, Hush and... Um, I want to say the Long Halloween, I think that's what it was, were the last two Commissioner Gordon figures, other than the Dark Knight Rises. Um, but at least from DC Collectibles, I think it was the Long Halloween, if I have that correct. I'll have to look down here, and we'll, there'll probably be a little thing that's going to scroll right here. That'll tell me, like, oh, I got it right, or oh, I got it wrong. So, um, I just finished filming the Robin review, so I figured while I'm here, I will... Uh, pound this one out too, so that's why you're seeing the box here. Uh, we'll just kind of show you uh, the armature uh, wireframe of Commissioner Gordon, which looks kind of cool there. And uh, there's a better shot of it. Now, he has his jacket on in this. I think I would have preferred to have him in his jacket as that's the way he is in the video game. Uh, for 95% of it, he's in his jacket other than maybe one or two scenes in the GCPD where he, he is out of his jacket, but that's okay. The other figures in the wave, of course, are Nightwing, Robin, Catwoman, which is not out yet. She's going to be the last in the wave. I don't know if she's going to make it uh, out in time for Christmas or not. I think maybe. And then, of course, Commissioner Gordon. So not much to talk about the packaging. Let's get right into the figure, and we'll see how this guy looks. We'll be right back. Um, I like this figure. Um, I like this figure a lot. Um, his articulation in his arms is a little weird. Um, not horrible. At first I thought he was going to get like the black mask and Joker treatment where their arms don't swivel at all. I thought it was just going to be, you know, all the way around. They do move. So I'm kind of talking about articulation here. Uh, the detail on Commissioner Gordon is really really good uh the face is what has some people worried so let's get in here the face uh, now we're in really close here uh the left or the right eye your left his right eye is looking over there a little bit so it's a little it's almost like his focus is over here maybe he has a somewhat of a lazy eye i've seen some that are really really bad um, I think I got a pretty decent one. Uh, the lenses do give the impression, like if you know somebody that has really bad eyesight, so they got kind of like the bug-eyed thing going on. So it does kind of give that illusion a little bit, but I can clearly tell that one eye is over a little too far. But it's not horrible. I have seen some other ones that are, are kind of bad. So if you have the ability to pick your own figure, um, I would suggest trying to do that. Um, I ordered mine from uh, a comic shop, and this is the one I got. So I'm happy with what I have. It could have been worse. So, uh, But the detailing on his shirt is really good. All the folds and wrinkles. Uh, he has a soft, pliable necktie. It's kind of bent, probably a little hot water, and I can get that to... Uh, lay down a little bit more uh, although maybe it's kind of windblown I kind of like that too his shirt is dirty it's not pristine white so there's a a brown wash over top of the white you can see the extra clips for his gun his GCPD shield which is detailed pretty well I don't think we can read anything on it Come on, Robbie. I actually think it says Gotham City. Can you make out the word city right there? I think that top one's Gotham City. If so, that's impressive because that is really, really tiny. I may have to use my uh, iPhone and get in uh, even closer yet still. But I think I can make the word city out there. Impressive. As pants have uh, really good creases and folds in them. Commissioner Gordon, look, double-jointed knees. Who would have thought we were going to get double? See, other suited body figures, you can do double-jointed knees. Yes, it, it may look a tad bit odd, for, but for Poe's ability, 
that's really good to have. I like that. Do that every time, DC Collectibles. Do that every time. Um, you can see his shoelaces down there. The folds in his pants are really good. You can see he comes with two accessories. I have his gun holstered. Here's his walkie-talkie. Actually comes with three accessories. Pretty cool. Uh, the gun does come out. It's rather tiny. Uh, he does have a trigger finger here. Um, the finger is sculpted there. Well, it's a trigger finger <laughs> by name only. You can see where the finger is. It's not like they didn't get it up high enough, but it's it'll still work. Rather small gun. There's the gun. And this is a rubber housing for the gun. Trying to watch my viewfinder put that in there. So that's pliable. Uh, the straps for his gun. Um, this is all a sculpted piece and this is glued down and through back of here. So here's his arms as we're looking at the figure here. Where's his tie? So here are his arms at a rested position. It's almost like he's going to go. Uh, ODC always talks about jive turkey necks. No jive turkey necks here. But he's got jive turkey arms like, what up? Like, almost like he's dropped the mic. Like, what? What are you talking about? Huh? Talking to me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> so um, I don't like that, that. He's got this, you know, like he can fly. Like, wee. Like he's got wings here. So I would have liked his arms to be at rest a little bit more. Uh, they do go up 90 degrees. I mean, great. Um, they rotate all the way around. Uh, you can kind of see it's got that, uh, I almost call it like the D DC Direct Swing. You know, like where you got the, instead of the arm going completely, I've got Robin here. So Robin's arm can go completely forward and be believable being forward. Commissioner Gordon's has like this, wide circle rotation that's odd that could have easily easily he's got an arm out here like he's got an arm around robin i'm so glad you married my daughter <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> sorry about that yes uh spoilers if people didn't know uh tim drake in the dlc that's going to drop this month is now officially married to barbara gordon or should i say Barbara Drake. So, um, where we, our articulation, there we go. Let's go to the head. The head can rotate left and right, can look down rather well, very, very uh, far down. Like, what have I gotten myself into? That boy has a shaved head. Um, can look um, forward, uh, not up really. And the, you know, DC direct swing, as I'm calling it. So, Get this weird, you know, rotating, like, come this way down the aisle. Uh, the bat signal is over here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, single bend at the elbow, and it's a weird elbow. Got weird elbows up in this mofo. Uh, he has, I thought there was a rotation here. No, there's, is there? Uh, yeah, there's a rotation. So... Ah, uh, is this broken? Um, sorry, I'm having all kinds of fun with Commissioner Gordon here. Uh, he has a hand rotation, hand hinge. He does come with a second hand. Uh, he doesn't have two hands, so he's got one open. So it's only for this hand. Um, I don't know why he can't hold on to... I mean, it could set in his hand, I guess. I guess if you just want to have a relaxed hand. I'm, I don't think I'm going to pose him with this one because um, he can hold the walkie-talkie in this hand, can hold the gun that hand. Um, I guess I just don't see the need for the other hand. So just me, maybe. Has I thought he had a... See, uh, 
clearly he he could have a waist swivel. He should have a waist swivel. Now, he has an upper diaphragm swivel, so that's probably why they didn't do the waist swivel. Um, I don't get that. He that would have been easy to do right there. Um, Commissioner Gordon could get into splits very well, since I guess he's Batman now in uh, comics. Uh, has an upper thigh swivel. Did you ever think Commissioner Gordon was going to have a double-jointed knee? To be honest, it's funny. It's a weird double joint. Kind of see how that's sticking out back there. I can't believe I'm going to say it, but I don't think he needs it. A single bend at the knee would have been just fine. I don't think I'm going to need to get him in a running pose. So, but... We have it, I guess, for all the times that we complained about not having double joints on some characters. They said, hey, Gordon, you're getting double jointed knees. Uh, a slight uh, up and down movement, 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 and the rocker. So I'm disappointed in the fact that I can't, I mean... It's fine. It looks like he's getting ready to eat, <laughs> to draw his guns. I mean, standing, maybe, I don't know. Uh, he can't get the walkie-talkie to his face to talk. I mean, he could be kind of, you know, looking at it. So, just getting him to stand is fine. It, it, this, the arms aren't horrible. I just wish they came in just a little bit more. But, you know, he could be, you know, thinking... So let's see what he looks like with Batman. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. They look really good together. Um, I was just talking to some of the rogues about uh, Commissioner Gordon's eyes. I think getting him in poses like this or when he's on your shelf, yeah, up close. I mean, we want everything perfect and we want the figures to move like the way they're supposed to be able to move and to have the articulation and to look like they're looking straight at someone. But at the end of the day, they're on our shelves and we're kind of walking by them. Unless it's glaring, you know, glaringly looking at you like, duh, my eyes aren't matching up. So, um, again, just kind of pay attention as you're going out and buying them. Or if you're buying them offline, it, it'll be a crapshoot. Um, I, I, I do agree that they should be able to paint eyes straight. I'm not saying I could, but... I think if this is your job and you paint action figures all day, you're probably pretty good at going boink. But uh, yeah, Batman and Commissioner Gordon, does, I'm, I'm getting off tangent with this review. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm glad to have a more of a realistic look rather than uh, the cartoon comic version. Speaking of which, let's bring up the Capullos just so you can kind of see the two Gordons side by side. We've been saying it for a while. We've been wanting a Commissioner Gordon figure, and we've got two this year. So, I mean, here are the two Gordons side by side. Granted, they are from completely two different, uh, you know, universes, so to speak. One's comic book, and the other's a video game and different aesthetics. So, uh, the Zero Year or the Capullo uh, Commissioner Gordon is not going to work well with the Arkham Knight figures at all. Uh and uh, vice versa with the Arkham Knight figure. But it's cool if you have some DC UC figures or just other more realistic Batman figures, this Commissioner Gordon will fit in very well with those. Uh, final thoughts here of this Commissioner Gordon. Um, I do think he's a pickup just uh, because he's one of those figures. He doesn't get made quite a... Uh, has quite a few figures made of him. Uh, sorry, I got my tongue all tied there. Um, I think his paint apps are really good. Again, the eyes are a little problematic in some figures. Again, just kind of pay attention to that. Um, the arms are are odd. He's kind of an odd duck in articulation. Uh, double jointed knees. Uh, that being said, he's gonna look great standing on your shelf. You just want to pose him in a you know simple Sunday you know ACBA vanilla pose with Batman. He's gonna look great doing that. So you can get him in some more normal. Poses, a relaxed pose uh, with his arms down normally, not so much. But I don't think that's a deal breaker. I think this is another solid figure. And I've been saying from the onset that this particular wave is going to be a very, very solid wave. 
So today we've been taking a look at Commissioner Gordon from the Batman Arkham Knight series from DC Collectibles. And as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the BatmanUniverse.net signing off saying we will see you guys next time.